Happy Thursday, Dr. Stephanie Gray from Integrative Health and Hormone Clinic. So Dr. Tilden did a video on food intolerances last week and I highly recommend you watch that video, it was great. This week's video is gonna be on leaky gut syndrome. So I have a lot of patients who come to me saying, doc, doc, I've been watching a video on leaky gut on Facebook or you know, Dr. Google is telling me that I have leaky gut syndrome based on the symptoms I have. And quite frankly, Dr. Google could be right. Patients, a lot of patients have leaky gut syndrome. So what is leaky gut syndrome? So leaky gut happens when the tight junctions, so basically the cells in your gut, when the cells open up, those tight junctions open up, and actually food, foods we're eating, proteins, can leak through the gastrointestinal membrane. When those tight junctions open up, food can leak through and enter our bloodstream, and then our body mounts an immunologic response and says, attack, attack, create antibodies to those foods that really shouldn't be there in the first place. So when we eat foods we shouldn't be eating and we have a lot of inflammation in our gut, the lining is more likely to open up, but it's not just the foods we eat. So gastrointestinal infections, certain drugs, and even stress are gonna render us more likely to have leaky gut syndrome or fancy name is intestinal permeability. So what scares me a little bit is that patients who um, obviously wanna feel better, they go to the internet, they order a lot of different products, maybe $500 worth of gut healing protein powders and bone broth and all these things they think are gonna heal their gut. And I just want to remind you that there's no set of nutrients that a patient's really going to be able to take to just heal the gut without um, having found a provider who's going to help that patient work through a gut healing protocol. So the first part of a gut healing protocol is to remove the offenders. So patients need to be tested for the foods like with what Dr. Tilden talked about in that past video. So the foods can be removed and they need to have oftentimes a comprehensive stool test as well. We need to look for other offenders like infections that can also irritate that lining, rendering them again more likely to develop that leaky gut syndrome. So I don't want patients to be spending all this money feeling like they're on this quest alone to really heal their gut. They might have leaky gut syndrome or intestinal permeability, but I want you guys to know that our clinic is here. We're happy to partner with you to help you remove those offenders. We can do a stool test. We can do food intolerance testing. We don't feed our patients to the wolves. You know, we put you on a, on a gut healing protocol. We have a health coach that can also meet with you when those results are back. So more to come on gut healing with future videos, but know that we're here and we'd like to help you heal your leaky gut.